Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, as we talk about the privacy dashboard and the uh, Microsoft website and the cloud and all the information that um, is uh, logged there that is saved, one of the things that you could do is download all of the data that is available. So if you go into your settings app and go into privacy and go on the right side into privacy dashboard. It, of course, will bring you to the privacy dash dashboard page. One of the options at the top is download your data. So what does that look like and what does it do? Well, once you click the create new archive button, it's going to ask you what you want uh, of information. What do you want to download? Everything. Then you put a check mark everywhere. Everything that they have on browsing history, search, location, activity, voice interaction with Cortana. Uh, movies, TV, and music history from your different apps, app, and service usage. All that data is in here. You just put the check marks in front of it. Once you put the check marks, you'll have a button, Create Archives. So that means you put here, Create Archives become blue. And that means you can now actually um, create the archive. Now, when you create an archive, what happens is you're going to see something happen, and it's going to say at the end, uh, that it's working on it, it's pending. So depending on how much data there is, and especially if there's voice data and a lot of information, it could be a huge file, you will download that file. So it's going to work on the file. It could take a certain time. You let it do whatever it, uh, it wants to do, and you come back later. And when it's done, you will have the archives. It's going to tell you the date of the archive, there's a expiry date because that archive is not going to be kept all the time. It is, for example, kept one week or seven days here. Then you have the size of the archive. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I downloaded just one little chunk. And then you have a download button. The download button will download a file. That will be search, request, and query. This is what I downloaded and it is a comma separated value file that looks like this. So here, I um, actually in one of my videos a little earlier, I did Montreal weather search and it gave me the search term. So I actually downloaded all the search experience, all the search tabs and um, what I'm doing in Windows 10. So you could see all of that and you could see the search that you've done in um, your browser or in the search in the Windows 10 search at the bottom left. So this is what I downloaded, but you have a lot more stuff that you can download. So if you want to have that data, you can actually download all of it. All you have to do is simply create an archive, check mark everything and download whatever file. Remember that file could be quite big. Depends on how much you use and what you're asking for the data. But this contains everything it knows. So, you know, there's no hidden uh, things in the Microsoft archives. They let you see what they have. So you can check it out. So download your data is where you need to go. I'll, of course, post the link to the page directly. You'll have to log in to get that data. And you have seven days to download that archive when you actually create one. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.